So now we are going to learn how to mark the cricothyroid membrane. What is the importance of the cricothyroid membrane? This is your axis in case of whenever you have a difficult airway and you are not able to intubate, put an LMA or mask ventilate the patient. This is the last ditch attempt that you can do in order to save your patient from hypoxic damage. So as a result of this, we should be able to palpate the cricothyroid membrane correctly, mark it and you should know the steps at making an axis at the cricothyroid airway. Now ideally, we should be having the cricothyroidotomy set. It is a formal set that is available in the market and you can use it for doing a cricothyroidotomy in case of emergency. If you don't have it in your hospitals, you can use a 14 gauge orange IV cannula to access the cricothyroid membrane. Let's see how to palpate and mark the cricothyroid membrane. So here we ask him to look up. After that, we feel the front of the neck. In the front of the neck, we look for the point which is the most prominent. This is nothing but our thyroid cartilage. So I'll mark it. Now from here, I palpate with my index finger and I go down and I can feel a dip. From this dip, I go further down and I feel another bony prominence. I palpate the entire bony prominence and feel it from both sides. This is nothing but a circular cartilage that is present. And here we mark this, this is our cricoid cartilage. Now, this is our thyroid cartilage, this is our cricoid cartilage. In between the two of them, I could feel a dip. This dip is nothing but the cricothyroid membrane. So once I know where my cricothyroid membrane is, the next thing is how to access it. So for example, if I have this as my 14 gauge IV cannula, I will place it in this cricothyroid membrane and I will pierce the cricothyroid membrane. Once this goes inside, I remove the cannula from here. Now, how do you do a cricothyroidotomy? So for example, I am using this pen now because I don't want to use a set on him. So imagine this is the stilet of the 14 gauge IV cannula and this is the outside cannula. I mark the cricothyroid membrane, extend his head and then I take axis from here. Once I puncture the cricothyroid membrane, I remove the cannula from inside. Once the cannula is removed, I connect a syringe which has fluid in it, it can be NS, to the cannula and I aspirate from here. When I aspirate from here, I should be able to see air bubbles inside the fluid. So that air bubbles in the NS confirms that I am in the trachea. So that is how we make an access for the cricothyroid membrane.